in this section we are going to begin analyzing the data using DAX so if you take a look at our sample dashboard we have these KPIs here so we are looking at the total sales or the total revenue we are looking at total orders we are looking at total profit the profit margin and the cost of goods sold and these are the calculations that we are going to work on in this video so i'll go back to our sample data set and i'll go to the report view now before i go on with the measures i'm going to create a table which is going to be used for all the calculations that we are going to add to our data model when you add a separate table it makes it easier for you to find the calculations that you want to use in analyzing your data so on the home tab i'll go to enter data this will allow me to add new table to my data model so here we have to define the columns and the values that we want for each of the columns that we are going to add then we also have the table name but here i'm not going to add anything i'm just going to change the name of the table so i'm going to call this analysis and i'm going to load this directly into power bi so i'm going to pick load so now we have a separate table which we are going to use for the analysis now when i expand this you see that we have the default column now since we don't have anything in the table yet we are going to leave this here now we are going to create our first measure so i'm going to click on the ellipsis and click new measure so first we are going to calculate the total revenue or the sales amount then after the equal sign we can define the tax expression that we want to use in creating this measure so here we want to sum the sales or the net sales column within the financials table so i'm going to bring sum which will help me to aggregate or summarize the values that we have in the net sales column so here we want to calculate the total or the sum so we need to provide the column that we want to sum so we want to sum the net sales column and i'm going to close this and press enter then i'm going to format this so now we have the source amount now i'm going to drag it and drop it onto the canvas then i'm going to pick a card from the visualizations and now this is the total source amount now since we have this i can remove the default column so i'm going to click on the ellipsis and pick delete for model i'll pick yes and now we just have the measure here and you see that the icon for the table also changes and the table is also placed on top of all the tables that we have here this makes it easier to find the measures that you want to use in analyzing your data now we are going to add another measure which is going to calculate the total unit sold so i'm going to call this orders then i'm going to sum the unit sold column in the financials table and close this and press enter i'm going to format this as well and i'm going to replace it here so we can see the orders so we have 1 million now i'll go ahead and create another measure which is going to calculate the total profit we are also summing the profit column in the financials table so i'll look for the profit column i'm going to close this and press enter now we have this here so i will select the card and i'm going to replace the value here with the profit measure so we have 16.89 million now let's go ahead and add another measure which is going to calculate the profit margin so the profit margin we want to express the profit as a percentage of the net sales so we are going to divide the profit by the net sales now we already have a measure which is calculating the sales amount then we also have the measure which is calculating the profit so we are going to reuse these measures 
in the measure that we are going to keep here. So I'm going to call this profit margin or profit percent. And I'm going to use divide. So first we need to provide the numerator. So we want to divide the profit. So I'm going to bring open square bracket. So I'll be able to see all the measures that I have within my data model. So I'm going to pick the source amount and I'm going to close this and then press enter. Now this will give us the profit margin. Now I'm going to format this as a percentage. And I'm also going to test the value here to make sure everything is working perfectly. So now we have 14.23% as the profit margin. Now let's calculate the final measure. So I'm going to ellipsis, new measure. And thus we are looking at the total discount offered. So I'll make it discount offered. Then after the equal sign, I'm going to sum the discount column in the financial table. I'm going to close this and press enter. Then I'm going to format this as well. Now I'm going to test this on the card. And now we have 9.21 million. So this is the total discount offered. So these are the measures that we are going to keep. In the next video, we are going to perform time intelligence calculations using these measures. So for all the measures that we have here, we are going to calculate the same amount for last year or same period last year. So see you in the next video.